we're transplants from California. We moved here in 08. Uh, started with a relatively small purchase, and then since then we've expanded twice. We've got about 5,200 acres, of which most of it is sand hills, pasture ground. Uh, it's a family operation. It's my wife and I, and my son and daughter-in-law. And it takes all four of us to make it work. And, and fortunately, we all get along, and most days we like each other. So. Our main deal has always been purebred Herefords, and we sell bulls and we sell elite females to other seed stock operations, but our main thing is selling commercial bulls. It's, it's a great operation. We've been, uh, I've been a Hereford breeder since I started in 1958. I've had Hereford cattle since that time. Um, we have incorporated Angus cattle into our operation as well as some Sim Angus cattle. I was really inspired by my grandparents, a very hard working pet people, which led me to think that that's what I wanted to do too, and that kind of stuck with me, and, uh, and, and I try and pass that on to my children and grandchildren as well. I mean, I guess it's hard work, but it's never really seemed like work, because it's what we do, and if we do take a day or so off to go somewhere, it drives me nuts, and so I'm glad that we stay hooked up, and you know, I mean, no matter what we do or where we go, it's something to do with a cow, and that's just kind of us, I guess. In my case, in my son's case, we were just born that way. That's just our makeup. Uh, love the cows. Uh, it's, it's the people that you're around are salt of the earth people and as good as they come and there's no better people than what you'll find in the Nebraska sand hills. I wish all my grandkids could grow up here around these kind of people that are honest. A handshake means something and we all look out for each other. One of your biggest assets in the, in the sand hills is your neighbors. Well, I, I don't think there's any question we're all going to do it. My dad and me and my, our wives until they put us in the dirt. I mean, there's no other options that I see that fascinate us or that, you know, draw us. Um, I'm proud of the fact that every dollar we make for our operation is generated off of a cow. And there just isn't any other options. I'm not saying we can't lose our ranch or something like that, but I guess we'll go work for somebody else. The, the great thing for me, particularly with my son carrying on, is I'm able to, to maybe not go at the pace I used to, which is getting more difficult all the time, but I don't have to quit. I can do what I love. I've been in the hills feeding cows all morning and it doesn't get any better than that. And hopefully uh, some of my grandkids, I have eight grandkids, and hopefully there's some of those who want to continue with this too and, and get just get the, the rewards that comes with the pride of, making something good or, or something better. And I hopefully, I, I definitely have kids that are gonna go that direction and I hope the grandkids do too.